هيا بنا نحيي سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. Brothers and sisters, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Brothers and sisters, Allah سبحانه وتعالى reminds us in the Quran uh, to remember Allah a lot, especially during these first 10 days of uh, the Hijjah and then during the uh, three days after the um, the 10th day, the 11th, the 12th and the 13th. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Hajj, uh, Surah 22, Ayah 28, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the believers that they are the ones وَيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ معلومات, That they are the ones who remember Allah a lot during these known days, meaning the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And then in another place in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah 2, Ayah 203, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي أَيَّامٍ معدودات, And remember Allah during the, the numbered days, meaning the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. So we are instructed to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot during these 13 days. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a hadith, he said that, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أَعْظَمُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَلَا أَحَبُّ إِلَيْهِ الْعَمَلُ فِيهِنَّ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَيَّامِ الْعَشِرِ فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِنَّ التَّهْلِيلِ وَالتَّكْبِيرِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ which the translation of the meanings of this hadith is that there are no greater days to Allah. The greatest of days to Allah uh, uh, are um, and the most beloved of actions or deeds that you can do to Allah uh, in, in these uh, are in these ten days. That the the greatest of the days to Allah during the year are these ten days. And the most uh, most beloved of deeds to Allah are the deeds that you do in these ten days. So during these ten days, فَأَكْثِرُوا hinna. So during these t- ten days, do a lot of tahleel, which is to say la ilaha illallah, and to do a lot of takbir, to say Allahu Akbar, and to do a lot of tahmeed, to say alhamdulillah. And this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do and the Sahaba used to do the same thing uh, during these days. And uh, um, uh, the uh, the way to say it is, uh, there are different ways but uh, the two most famous ways are to say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Wallahu Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alham. Or uh, you can say Allahu Akbar three times in the beginning instead of twice and say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alham. Which means Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. Uh, there is no one who deserves to be worshipped but Allah, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, and to Allah belongs all praise and thanks. And this basically, brothers and sisters, spells the whole um, the whole uh, way that we should lead our lives and the purpose of our existence. Um, we as Muslims are supposed to embrace the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah is greater than any priority, any other perspective, any other thought, any other uh, devotion, any other dedication. Allah is greater than all of that. And we need to have Allah as our top, top priority in our lives, to worship Allah. So it, this is to remind us that Allah is the greatest. And then we are nothing. And to say this five times, uh, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and then say, La ilaha illallah, there's no one who deserves to be worshipped but Allah. But we only worship Allah. We only do things for Allah. Uh, we don't worship ourselves. And then we say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, and then we say, Walillahi alhamd, and to Allah belongs all praise and thanks. That we thank Allah for all the things He's given us, not only the material things, but also our iman, and also the Quran, and also our spirituality, also a soft heart, a humble heart, all those things we uh, ask, uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. So, brothers and sisters, obviously, when you think and embrace the greatness of Allah, 
everything else in the world pales in comparison. So let us revive the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And remember, these takbirat we're supposed to say them uh, in general uh, as often as we possibly can during those thirteen days. But starting on the day of Arafah, on the ninth day, and going up to the thirteenth, we're supposed to say it after every salah. Uh, so after every salah, starting from Fajr uh, on the day of Arafah, on the ninth day, and going all the way. Uh, saying it after every prayer, going all the way to the Asr of uh, the 13th day. So so let us revive the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.